Okay. Oh, country man. Lawrenceburg? Or? Yeah, Lawrenceburg. Yeah, last week we did yeah. that. How short were we last time? For school. Because these students. I didn't make it last week. Shame on you. What were you uh, doing? That's a, that's a big school. Well, I had a better excuse than that. How Lawrenceburg? Well, yeah. This. Wasn't nearly as much fun, though, I'll tell you that. What, 2A or 3A? Yeah. yeah. Lawrenceburg school. No, it was just an old friend. They had, for, oh, they actually had five, twenty years. Twenty more players than we did. He was, he had. Melbourne, had a good Joe. Joe, yeah, we can't do that until Brendan yeah. Brain. Yeah. Yeah. Got to have Joe. Got to have players. Yeah, he played. What's his name? A freshman. Real good friend of mine. And, uh, Were their names uh, Ganaway? Well, he was the, too. Uh, Junior Barnes went down to help help her plays with and help him and help her. What's his name? Guard Elijah Ganaway. Ganaway, okay. He was still. Yeah, he's been a good kid. He required a lot of care. I dropped it. Presentation. He was five. Wow. Marty can make a presentation. I cannot do finding a fact. He finally had legal counsel. Yeah, he come in yesterday, though. Grandpa, guess what? I said, well, we got to go back to Nobleville. I said, for what? It was a sad thing, but it's in Taekwondo, too. Uh-oh. You got a black belt. Is there any more? They have a tournament. The only thing with that belt, this young lady out here has got to leave as quickly as possible to take her grandchild up to Disney on ice. So when we do get this opened, she asked if we either grant or deny it quickly. Okay. So you can get out of here. This is the sign shop for Proximo. Proximo, yeah. Right, Joe, we'll Joe's we'll wheeling. Start. He's on his way. Joe yeah. Johns. Joe is. Yeah, he oh, should be here with so him. Get to them, well, uh, we're not allowed to before the advertised time oh, of six o'clock. Now, I at played, uh, six even, we will for, start uh, it. Paddle wheels. Because we can get it started mm -hmm. without Joe. I set the bench for four years. Never missed a practice, but I set the bench. I was on that. 64 team that was undefeated. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Broughton. And, uh, that team Dee Freeland was on? No, I'm not that old. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was back in the we'll 40s. Yeah. Next month. This was 1964. You get your packet today for playing commission? Might have, I didn't look. That was one of the Man, meanest cusses ever met in my entire me. life. But he was That's also BJ. one of the I learned more from that man. Fine. He just in life. You have to have. Yeah. Learn our money. Have to have him. He said, I was just a Lawrenceburg kid. I think he kind of wild. Anyway. And he kind of slowed all of us down. Yeah, Mark that's Quay. bad. Yeah, Pat was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they still got him running up down that levee. Yes, wow. Well, yeah, I ran that levee a lot. Thomas has lived right there. Because ben so Thomas, far. Yeah. That yeah. house right there. Yeah. Worked out right. Janet. But these was two in my class. Janet have a whole lot of Janet was fine. Oh, yeah, well, we've uh, had some yeah. she issues, and, uh, Jessica, since I've been Jessica. on. The quieter it is, ah. means the smoother oh, yeah. it's running. They didn't come to our class reunion. We just had our 50th this well, okay. September. Uh, Jessica Why? is living yep. in yep. Annapolis yep. now. Is she? She's married a minister. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know where the rest of them are. Uh, Where's, uh, who'd I say first there? Uh, she's really good with the person. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Uh, not Jessica Thanks. Todd. Uh, the, loop, the house was right there by a yeah, practice field. Yeah, I Make it. Tom, Tom, you want to Tom and Jimmy Thomas said, whatever happened to her? Can you get in there, Joe? Uh, if I can get by the flag. Yeah. Well, she was, oh, she was like homecoming queen. Room. Well, let me just back up here first. She's, not, she's like homecoming queen of Ball State. Mm-hmm. After high she school, was, I got a little too much. I was at Ball State when she was. Yeah, Janet. Janet, she wouldn't even talk to me. You know, that stuff, stuff happens. Her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, Doc, she I got was, six o'clock, so okay. whenever you want to start. Roll right now. All right. I'd like to call a meeting to order this evening for the uh, continuation of the October uh, 22nd meeting. Apologize for my absenteeism last week. Um, we'd like to uh, start with uh, roll call. Dennis Folkey. Present. Tom Rogers. Here. Paul Seymour. Present. Tom Ganaway. Here. Don Anderson. Here. Joe Johns. Present. And myself. All right. Let the record reflect that we do have a quorum for this evening. 
uh, and we can do business this time. Um, has everybody had a chance to review the minutes of the uh, previous meeting? And if so, is there a motion to accept them as? So moved. Motion we accept them. Minutes. Second. And a motion made and seconded to approve the meetings, the minutes from the previous meeting. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Mike, you have anything additional on staff report? Uh, the only thing I just want to let everyone know, we will have a meeting in November, and it will be on the Tuesday, the 25th, just to make sure we don't affect anyone's travel plans for Thanksgiving. But we will meet that Tuesday. Okay. All right. Um, and tonight our uh, business uh, is with uh, Marty Reynolds of the Sign Shop. Uh, has a presentation for the uh, signs um, for Proximo. Why do you like that? All right. I don't really have a presentation. Uh, Marty from the Sign Store. Um, you have the the visuals of what the sign's going to look like. Proximo is just requesting um, they want to to identify their main business, their main building over there on Shipping Street. Um, those are illuminated channel letters and they will be installed on the top part of their building. And the reason they need a variance is obviously they have a lot of signage and that is a little bit bigger of a sign than is allowed. Any questions for uh but is there any lighting involved in this at all? Yes, it is illuminated. At okay. night, it will be illuminated. Okay. It'll be white. Marty, I just have one comment on the uh, variance application. In the future, moving on, could you add just a little bit more to it? Uh, you know, on, on term three in your application, it just states none. Okay. I just need more to go on. Okay. So I'm not, you know, just kind of okay. interjecting, you know, uh, my belief, you know, and, and you can put more into, you know, actually what they need or what the strict appliance, you know, what effect that I would ha that would have on them. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Does anybody else have any more questions or uh, on the information in the packet or or Marty here this evening? I make a motion we approve this. A second, I yeah, we got to send it to finding of facts first. Yeah, we got a little oh, bit staff. Um, All right. Uh, we need a motion for to read the finding of fact. I'll make a motion. We read the finding of fact. Uh -huh. Yeah. Motion has been made. Uh, we have a motion for, to read the finding of fact and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right, this is the finding of fact for development standards variance 11-14. The grant not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community because the sign will be professionally manufactured and installed and presents no risk to the general population. The use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the variance will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner because the surrounding properties are all owned by Proximo and are part of the Proximo campus. The sign will enhance the visual appearance of the building. The, strip, the strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property because any signage attached to the building is disproportionate to its size and limits the visibility of the building. Any variance requested represents the smallest deviation possible because the proposed sign is designed to be proportionate to the sizing of the building. The approval of this application for variance is not based upon legally existing non-conforming uses in the same zoning district nor permitted uses in other districts. Okay. Is there a motion to accept the finding of fact? So moved. Second? I second. Motion been made and seconded to accept the finding of fact. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carried. Is there motion to approve the appeal as presented so move second. i second it in favor aye, aye. opposed carry <laughs> see marty i had a four year old wait mom yeah. <laughs> all right see ya.
Well, I think I we didn't have any really, and it didn't really. But I think that will look good on that building. It yeah. looks very nice. Well, I, yeah, I think it'll look attractive. And there again, they're one of the biggest success stories that Absolutely. Lawrenceburg has had in Absolutely. a long time. Oh my God, yes, and, and I think they are well deserving of it, being able to put their name on on the building. I do. Um, do we have any old business? I'm not aware of any carryover old business from previous meetings. Um, if not, is there a motion for adjournment? Motion. I a second. Here. Second. I second. Motion uh, to adjourn and a second has been made on favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Well, that's a record right Aye, there. Guys. Yeah, you've got us out in six <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> well, will I'm sorry that it had to get drug over to another evening, but I never complained.